Hi, in this video we are going to learn how to add roofs into the building model using Revit 2023. For adding roofs there are various tools that are available in the Revit software. Most predominantly there are two types of tools that you can use to add roofs. One is the roof by footprint, the other is the roof by face. So let's see what are the other ways by which we can add roofs and modify roofs into the building model using Revit 2023. So in order to add the roofs, well, we should have one roof plan in which we uh, can add the roofs. The roof plan can be created by using any one of the levels. For example, here, this is the roof level and the roof plan is created from the level roof. So in this roof plan, making this roof plan as current, in the architecture tool, now we can basically look into it. There are two tools, predominantly roof by footprints and roof by face, and the other is the roof by extrusion that also can be used by extruding a profile of a roof. Now, let's see how these three tools can be used. And other than that, there are tools that you can add by which you can add the roof soffit, the roof fascia, and the roof gutter to the existing roof. Now let's go in action and see in the Revit how these tools can be used in different situations. Roof by footprint is a tool by which you define the footprint of the roof, which is a pitch roof or a flat roof, whatever roof you want, by using the boundary line. Now, the moment you choose the roof by tool, roof by footprint tool, the modify create roof footprint contextual tab is displayed. Now, here in the contextual tab, and at the draw panel, you can see there is a boundary line tool and there are different sketches over there. Now, in order to get the sketch of the footprint, now this is the footprint of the roof, we can use the several tools and one of the tools that we can use is the pick walls. The pick wall tool will allow to pick a wall and create the footprint in the outer or the inner edge, whatever we prefer. The moment we click on the walls, we see that, go to the modify, you can see that there is the arrow which shifts towards the inner and the outer. Okay, so in the root by footprint, there is basically one option over here and the, the moment you finish, the roof will be created with a default slope inside. So let's see the 3D view of the roof which is created at the building top. So here you can see that the roof is created at the building top. And further, if you want to see the full plan of the roof, what we need to do, go to the roof plan under the floor plan headings. And here you have this view range. Increase the view range from the top to unlimited and use the cutting plane, which is more than the height of the roof. Then the hips and the valleys will be seen in the roof once you change the cutting plane. Let's say it's 5,000. So here you can see that still there is a cut over here in the floor plan. So we are going to change the floor plan cut plane from 5,000 to 10,000 so that we get an entire profile of the hip roof. Now, in order to edit the footprint, select the roof which you have created. And at the edge, click on the magenta line, then you have this modify roof edit footprints. Now here, for every edge, there is an option of the slope and overhang. Let's say if you want to give an overhang of 1200, you would see that it would move from the existing position. If you want to change the slope, you can click on the slope and change the slope of the roof. Or if you don't want any slope, for example, you want a gable end, you can click at the defined slope, roof, the slope will not be there. So once you have this gable roof, 
Now you can see that a gable formation is there at the end in which the footprints was defined as slope 0. Now this wall, you can attach this wall to the roof which is in the gable end and the wall takes the shape of the roof. Now there are various options. You can see that there is the base level is roof and the maximum ridge height is 108907 and then this is a volume area and thickness. Now if you want to have a cut in the roof, you can go with the architecture, there is a biface, you can give a cut in the roof. Here we go. If you want a vertical cut, so if you want to change the cut, select it, roof opening cut, edit sketch, you can reduce the sketch area and now you can see that the opening is created. Similarly, you can create a vertical cut into the roof by selecting the roof and creating the vertical profile and the roof will cut vertically in the place that you have sketched. Now the roofs are overhang over here. You can add the other elements like the roof face here. Select the fascia from here, you can see the profile in the edit type. The profile is flat 1920, 19 into 235. You can change the profile from the drop down in the profile. So let's say I take 1989 and here we go. And then you can see that the fascia is placed at the edge. So if you select any one of the fascia edge of the roof, the fascia will be placed. Now you can change the horizontal and vertical offset of the face here from the properties palette it will move up it will move to the origin and so and so so in the face here let's say if you want to add a gutter you can go to the roof and you can use a gutter option and here you can click and place the gutter and similarly the gutter profile can be changed by selecting the gutter then there is the profile that you can select for the gutter and you can change it to the desired profile that you want similar to the face here you can basically change the vertical profile offset and the horizontal profile offset so let's move to the next topic like roof, creating roof by extrusion. Now here what we do is, let's say I want to have a different kind of profile. I'm creating a wall with a different and here in this wall I would like to have a roof which is basically a curved linear roof. So what I do is I can select, I want to have the curvilinear section at this face. I go to the set, set the work plane and here I want to set the work plane at this particular place. And now go to the roof, select by extrusion with the roof and then you can basically sketch, you can change it to the the profile that you want to have, let's say here, just wanted to change into arc, let's say this is the profile that I wanted to have. Now based on the profile that you had given, the extrusion is created and here the wall will now go and cover the area which is void. So you can select all the walls tab key, attach and then this roof will be placed above the wall. Now this is basically something that you can do with the extrusion and you can change the type of the roof from the type properties. You can have different types of roof material and type 
that you can provide. One thing about the roof by a footprint, let's say if I have a footprint across, and if I wanted to have a flat roof, and I wanted to have some slopes over there, so I go with the defined slope, I put it option, it's directly, what will happen that the entire wall be is having a slope, but defined slope does not change it. But if I wanted to make it a flat, I can select each of the extrusion, remove the slope. And why did not the defined slope did not work? I'll get you the reason. So this is the flat roof that we have created. Now, let me change the slope at the two points. Here we have, and now there's a flat roof which is created. Now, if I wanted to have a slope in any one of the roof, I can go to the edit footprint. I can change, I can change the slope to 30 degree. And you can see that what will happen is the roof is sloped from this point and then let's say if I wanted to have the slope at minimum of let's say 5 degrees the slope changes to 5 degrees and here we are and now you can basically change the extent of the wall by attaching it to the roof. Now the last one is by massing that is by face let's say if you have any component that you create with the mass, so I have a mass category over here, and let's say I'm creating a form here, and from the form, I want to basically create a roof out of it. Let's say I have a form, create a form, and here I have a form, which will be defining the 3D feature of my roof, let's say, here we go, and let's say so this is basically something that I wanted to change the form over here. So I select the edge, and let's say I have the not the edit profile, but I wanted to add a profile here. Let's say at this point, and now if I change shape there will be some changes that will happen in the shape and let's say I want to build up some shape over here from the roof from this face so I can basically use this face to create a roof so go to architecture roof and then I have this roof by face and create the roof so this is how I can create the roof from the face. So these were the options of creating roof. Hope you have liked the video. Please like our video, subscribe our channel. Thank you.